Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into an exciting challenge in the world of machine learning. Our viewer is looking to create a database of TensorFlow records from a collection of images and their corresponding feature descriptions. Let's explore how to efficiently manage and utilize this data in TensorFlow. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To create a database of TF records from your images and annotations, we first need to define our feature functions. These functions will help us convert our data into the appropriate format for TensorFlow. Next, we will create a function to read our images and their corresponding annotations. This function will return two lists, one for images and another for their features. Now, we will write the TF records. We will iterate through our images and annotations, convert them to binary format, and write them to a TF records file. After creating the TF records, we need to read them back. We will use a TF record iterator to parse the data and reconstruct the images and annotations. Finally, to efficiently feed data into your model, we will use a file name queue and a reader to create batches of data. This will allow for faster training by processing multiple examples at once. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create TF records from a list of strings and feed a graph in TensorFlow, start by initializing the coordinator and queue runner within a session. Use a local variable for the number of epochs and initialize it before starting the queue runner. Next, read the serialized examples and parse them into features. Use tf.train.shuffleBatch or tf.trainBatch to gather batches of images, noting that ShuffleBatch randomizes the order. After initializing the queue, define the batch parameters. The shape of tensors can vary, so ensure to adjust accordingly. Finally, treat tf.string as a binary string to extract specific features. To extract features from the annotation tensor, use string split and string to number to convert and slice the data as needed. This approach effectively prepares your data for training in TensorFlow. Hope this helps. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.